Okay, in this tutorial I will be uh, demonstrating how to install my SQL. I'll be using uh, the Windows installer, the essential version, and let's get started. So, begin by launching that, go next. Now I like to do the uh, custom install. And here we're going to go ahead and uh, install everything. Now what do I want to do? I want to actually change the directory to where MySQL is installed to. There's no particular reason for this, but you can do it if you like. I'll just shorten that to there. And then I'll click Next. Okay, and now we're finished installing it. Next, we will make sure that is checked, and we're going to go ahead and configure the MySQL server. We'll click Next. I'll do a detailed configuration. I'm going to choose Server Machine. I'll leave it on that one. And of course, you can change any of those if you like. I mean, you can read it, take the time to read it, but I'm just kind of doing a general install. Change that to data. I'll leave that on that one. And here you, if you can uh, choose what port number. The default port is 3306 for uh, MySQL. I'll go ahead and add the uh, firewall ex exception. And we'll just leave that there and we will leave that as that. All right, now we need to set a root password. I'm going to do something really simple just for the sake of uh, this is a demonstration machine. All right, and then you can uh, go ahead and click Next once you finish that. And then we click Execute. As long as we don't get any errors here and everything installs well, we've done well. A lot of times you'll get an error where it says start service there that will not uh it will not allow you to start and that means you've either got a previous version installed or your uh that port is already taken or something like that at which point you need to go back and remove that which you can actually um list your error on my support form and I'd be more than glad to try to help you fix that okay and there we go is finished and now we have MySQL so the next step will be to install PHP my admin so you can control it and uh, look at the next tutorial for how to do that thank you very much